is dedicated to my mom, but because Pepe is here, it's also dedicated to Pepe. So give him a good tip. Nanin Hanguk Saram. My Korean language teacher laughs at me. Oh no, you are Miguk Saram. I am Hanguk Saram too, but this is always a statement met with disbelief as if black faces all look alike and like nothing familial. Only familiar with drugs, only synonymous with crime. And though I can't get past the first three minutes of Menace to Society, perpetuating stigmas cause my people not to desire me. See, I'm the black girl in class. Even though the other pupils are as Korean as my eyes, they do not see me as if blackface is the ultimate disguise. Why are you here? And every time I hear it, I want to crawl into a hole and sit fetal style in my mother's womb. She is why I'm here. And yet, I don't quite fit inside of her. Can't quite get comfortable in her silhouette. She protects her stories by putting up language barriers and tripwire. Understanding stumbles over her words, so she tells lies with her shoes. She's not that tall. She's taller. Sijana! She calls me. Oh, Ma, I call her. See, I store kimchi in my heart, pumps red pepper blood, spicy. My heart burns Korea, and fried chicken burns my mouth. I learned that from my black grandmother who grew up down south, but on Fifth Ave and 30th Street, yo, Korean fried chicken and beer, $18, all you can eat. But this is more than a bulgogi and collard greens type thing. Yes, my mother does do nails for a living. But beyond that customer service smile, your mother has been through things. Mm. A husband who was supposed to be the answer to her dreams. A man who was supposed to change her life forever, and he did. Her world was new with him, unexplored, though had already been discovered, and she was an outsider. She adventured for him to come home, and it was no home at all. His frustration tore into her like teeth into the flesh of Newark. That's where we lived, Newark, where they threw rocks at her children for being different, where love spilled out of his pores for the first time and landed black on her skin, blue on her heart. This was not come true. This was reality, devastation, like leaving your friends, your family, your country for a man who has nothing except your dreams or maids on the dinner plate he just left on the table for you to collect. Yes. My mother does do nails for a living. But she also owns that nail salon, owns two houses, and raised two black Korean girls on her own type of needs. So when they ask me, why are you here? Why are you? I answer. Nanan Hanguk Sara. Why? What are you? Yeah. Yeah.